Texas, a dear friend of, um, of Lee's, and a conservative activist. Activist from Texas? My God. <laughs> How y'all doing from Texas? Yeah. God bless America. You know, this is not just a war. This is not just a battle. This is a spiritual battle in the war. And this Lord that we have that helped build this country, the reason we have this country is because of our Lord and Jesus Christ. And He's the man. Yes. And you know, they want to destroy that faith that we have. And you know what fear is? It's an absence of faith, Lee. We're going to do it. And you know, I was thinking about what I would say. There is a book that is written by a guy named Poletti, and it's called Pierce in the Darkness. There is a war not only of people and in, in thoughts and minds and spirits, but there's an angelic war. If you read 2 Corinthians of 12, 13, and 14 verse, and check this Bible right here by what this guy Poletti says, it's unbelievable what's going on. And we have to call upon Him to bring that power down. And He has the power to change hearts and minds and souls and spirits of people. Jesus Christ is the greatest power in this world. They had read the 91st Psalms, which is called the Soldier's Prayer, if you have never read it. And it just actually sings, sends chills up and down your, your leg, your soul, and everything, you know? Because they did not lose a person during that entire war. They were on the front lines. They read it morning, noon, and night. If I may read it with you just a minute. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall glide under the shadow of the Almighty. We're under his shadow if we're with him. I will say to the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God in him I trust. I trust in him. In God we trust. That is a symbol of our country. Surely we, he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with his feathers. And under his wings he will take refuge. you. His prayer shall be your shield and your buckler. A house may fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, and, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you shall you look. during Mr. Bush's tenure, President Bush's tenure. We took it down the other day, and we're going to put it over at Fort Hood, where all those soldiers were murdered. Now here, you have a, a guy that goes in and murders 13 unarmed people. He wounds 39. Most people don't know this, but 105 from the national, from from a group from the North Texas National Guard, they sworn army all of them. Uh, six wounded, excuse me, six hundred and nineteen wounded. The vast majority of those from one little group of people from North Texas. And you know, we we met 
them. Peggy and I was coming back from the deer lease. They called me one Sunday afternoon at 4.30 and they said, Bill, she says, and we work for the soldiers all the time. She says, you're putting on a party on 30 Tuesday. I said, I don't understand why. Can't I wait till Thursday or next week? She said, no, you be here. So we got our guys together. We had 250 Patriot Guards. We got 80 people. We had the meal for these guys. We didn't even know what was going to happen, really. So here come two vans. My girls brought them in with the flags on horseback. We're from Texas, by the way. <laughs> and uh, so they brought them in with the flags. The first two vans, we didn't know what they were. They were the wounded, 19 wounded. And they were some of them were paralyzed from the waist down. Their life is forever changed. One guy had been shot five times. He's still getting up and going. Tough guy. Anyway, they had just come from this speech with Obama, and they were under the ground. They were discouraged. They were just so just down. The, 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 the families were there. They had pictures of the, of the six that was killed or murdered. And, you know, it was so dreary. And we, our preacher was there, and we got to talking to him. We got to singing with him. We brought some real pretty girls in from Ms. Whitney. You know? <laughs> Boys kind of perked up a little bit. Anyway, within an hour and a half or two hours, we had it turned around. And they were saying, we're going to go get them. We're going to deploy. We're going to go out and do our job. Because you know what? The Holy Spirit come down because we all held hands that day. And, and the, the pastor said a prayer. And you look to your right and says, I love you. Or you are my brother and you are my sister. You turn left and say that to the same guy. And he says it to you or your sister. That's what all this is about. About being brothers and sisters in Christ. Praise God, and thank you for all your service out here, all these people that are helping, and thank God bless America and Texas. Yo! Yeah.